Okay, so this is uh, a look at opening a Digimap DWG file that you've downloaded and maybe has a site plan in it in Autodesk AutoCAD on the Mac. Okay, when you open up AutoCAD for the first time, you'll get this kind of menu like this. It says display at startup and you tick that box and it, stays, and it always comes up. It's quite handy. Um, it has access to sort of online tutorials and so on from Autodesk themselves and access to other places, suggestion that you go to Linda, which is now, of course, LinkedIn Learning, look on YouTube and so on and so forth. Okay, so if you're still new to the application and you want to learn more about it, obviously this is a good place to start. You can go down and select these um, very you know, introductory type uh, video tutorials, or you could do as I recommend you do and go into LinkedIn and look at Autodesk with the AutoCAD for the particular version number and the particular operating system that you're using. But for this purpose, the purpose of this video, what we're going to do is just open that DWG file that we exported from Digimap, this Ordnance Survey data, and uh, we're going to just get it set up properly to work effectively. So open files, we're gonna, we're gonna negotiate our way to that file. Here it is, Goodsway 2018, and open that file. Here it is, okay, um, and you can see, you can zoom in and zoom out, that's all the geometry there. It's colored because uh, the geometry is colored by the characteristics of the layer it's in, so the colors are set. Uh, and the point of the colors is just to identify different features. I mean, obviously if you, if you hit print now, it would print out in these strange colors. Um, and you don't want to do that when you're actually doing drawings, of course, but you can, when we, when we look in detail at AutoCAD and how to, to produce drawings in AutoCAD, we'll cover that kind of stuff. But for now, we just want to get this into a usable fashion. Okay, so the first thing to think about here is what scale are we looking at? We're in what's called model space. If you look down the bottom left-hand corner of the window in AutoCAD, it's got model and then in this particular case, two layouts by default. Model space is where the geometry is actually created. Layout space is paper space also sometimes called, where you look at the geometry you've drawn in model space as if it was on a sheet of paper of a particular size and at a particular scale. So let's see what size these things are. So the front of the building at CSM, this, this red block here, is just poking into our site plan. And I happen to know that it's 104 roughly meters across. So let's measure it and see what the geometry says, you know, what size the geometry actually is. Okay, and we're going to do that by using the measure geometry tool, uh, uh, which is, you can just type it, measure geom is the one you want, and that loads that. And we want to measure a distance, and we select the point at one end of the distance, and the point at the other end. So it just snaps to geometry, which is great. Okay, and it tells us here in the middle that geometry that we just measured is actually 104. This is between this point, as you can see, these lines are indicating the distance, not the rectangle that you've defined, but the distance across diagonal line, which is 104 uh, units, uh, 0.7699. Okay, so what we're looking at here is the application is looking at this geometry and saying one unit in this geometry is equivalent to a meter. Okay, so here we are, my distance is 104 meters across the front of the Granary Square building, and that's what the units are set to. So AutoCAD is agnostic as to what its units represent in the real world. It said, okay, this geometry is 104.7699 of my units. You can call them whatever you like. We happen to know that this represents a distance of 104 meters. We also know that in um, architectural drawing, we want our units to be millimeters. So this geometry needs to be a thousand times bigger. In other words, the geometry in this drawing, as we're looking at it currently, is one to 1,000 scale. Okay, and zoom out a bit. Okay, so this needs to be bigger. All right, it's very straightforward to do in uh, AutoCAD compared to many other things. So we can just select everything, Command A, as it is everywhere. And now we're going to scale it by a thousand percent. And we can just type scale 
to get the tool. And we just have to select somewhere where it's going to scale from. We just click in the middle somewhere. And as we scale out, it will ask us to, to give us a value. So we can just start typing a thousand. It says specify a scale factor or something else. So what we're going to do is specify a scale factor of a thousand in that box just by typing a thousand and hitting return. Okay, and now we can zoom out and see everything. And if we want to zoom out and see everything, then we can type zoom and see it, or we can just keep scaling out here, scaling out, scaling out. So we can type zoom by just going zoom, and there's a special Uh, command in zoom, zoom extents there, and that just zooms our geometry to fill the window, which is great. So everything in the file zoomed to fit in the window. Optically, it looks exactly the same as it did when we first imported it. But now if we measure our wool, we'll see what size it is now. So once again, it's measured geometry, typing distance, find that one spot, and the next spot. And we can see it's now 104,769.944, etc. units. So it's now in millimeters. Okay, now visually makes no difference to us. But it, this is important when it comes to working in layout space and thinking of scale. Now we can think of this drawing and the units in it as being millimeters, which is really useful and handy thing to, to have. Okay, so fine, we've got the file open. We are now confident that it's uh, what the units represent. Let's just, while we're here, set up some layout space. Uh, so we look, set up some sheets of paper and look at this geometry on those sheets of paper. So if you go to the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see model and then plus and then layout one, layout two. If we click on layout one, we can see a default size of paper and a window on it. Uh, in the window is all that geometry that we've just been working with. By default, it's just popped into that window. We don't want that, so we're just going to select it all and then delete it. So what we want to do here is make sure that we're working with a regular size of paper. So we go down to layout one here, alter the page settings. So I'm just holding down control and clicking on the, the name of layout one and then edit page setup. Okay. And you can see that actually the size, it is currently set to a letter size which is uh, odd, but uh, not what we want anyway. So let's change that. We've got a huge selection of paper sizes down here. What we want to go is zoom down to ISO A0, and we want to have the long measurement first and the short measurement second. That will give us a landscape version. So ISO, International Standards Organization, A size 0, A0, and those dimensions that we're very familiar with. Okay, so now our piece of paper is A0. We also want to set what our scales are. Okay, it's one to one is what we want. We want one millimeter of, in our drawing to represent one of the units in the model space. So that's how we do it. Make sure that that is set. And then we just hit okay. Now the paper is the right size for A0. And what we want to do is look at our geometry at that, on that paper at a particular size. And the way to get geometry onto paper and layout space is with what's M view, model view. So we type M V and we open a window. Um, going clicking on one corner and clicking on the diagonally opposite corner from that. And there's our geometry in the window on our A0 sheet. It's all the geometry and it's it's the application has squished all that geometry into the window. So we have no idea what scale it is, and it's probably a very odd scale to begin with. So we need to alter the scale. We do that by selecting the window that it's in, and right down in the bottom right-hand corner, some numbers have appeared, and this is the scale. Okay, viewport scale. What is the viewport scale? We can click that little down arrow. We can see the scales that are available to us. Uh, these are all Imperial scales by default, unfortunately. So we need to alter some scales and find some workable ones for us. So we do that by editing the scale list. Do it very quickly. What we're going to do is select all these imperial ones, and get rid of them all, minus, and then put some scales in that we find useful, like 1 to 100. 
and 1 to 200 as well. Okay, that's better. All right, now go back and select the window. It's got this odd scale, but now our list is nice and short and also is usable scale. So let's try 1 to 100 and see what we get. Okay, so that's what our uh, geometry looks like framed on an A0 sheet of paper at 1 to 100 scale. Okay, so that might be a good basis for you to then start doing your drawing on another layer on top and give you a site, a site plan. Although we could also just see what it looks like at 1 to 200 scale. There we are. Get a bit more sight in, a bit more information to fill in yourself and work around. And of course your drawing is much smaller now on your site. So let's go back. In this particular case we'll leave it at 1 to 100. Let's go back there and leave it there. Now if we wanted to change the framing of this we could just double click inside here, uh, select all the geometry and then just move it around a bit. And then just select double click outside the box and now we've changed the framing in that. So we could also just change the name of layout one. So we'll just go rename here and we'll call it A0 just to help us find our way around in future. And what we could do is change layout zero to be something else as well. So layout zero, here it is, or layout two. Let's get rid of what's there. And now let's uh, edit the page setup for that one. As you can see, it's letter one. Let's go to A1 this time. So ISO A1, long dimension first, so landscape. And the scale, so one to one. Okay, so now there's gonna be an A1 sheet in this one. We'll just change the name of it as well to match its size. And then we can draw a viewport window, MV, make a viewport. All our geometry is in there. We can uh, just select it and change the scale for this one. So let's change this one to 1 to 200. There we go. And there you have it. We've got our two sheets of paper, so an A1 plan drawing and an A0 plan drawing. A1 is at 200, 1 to 200 scale, and the A0 is at 1 to 100. And we've got our model geometry where one unit is equal to one millimeter. So this document is all set up. You could just save it away now, and you could use this as the basis for your site plan drawings from here on in. Thank you very much. Bye.